Yo, thoughts on how to fit basketball shoes? What size you want to get? Whether you want to get too big, too small? I know a lot of guys go too big for a couple reasons. First, if your feet are still growing, you get more value that way. And then when you get used to playing in big shoes, um, you keep doing it. And you see a lot of guys wear extra pairs of socks to fill it out. Um, that's real common, and I've done that for a while. Right now, these are the hoop shoes that I have. They're 12 and a halves, and they're too big for sure. Like, they fit like this, roughly. And there's some trade-offs because I've got extra space. That makes it kind of hard to run because it feels like my toes are at my midpoint. But there's some advantages to this as well because I have the widest toe angle at this, at this spot, right? If I'm filling it out to the end, then my pinky toe has really no room to maneuver. Um, so it's definitely a tough call. Something to note is that shoes like this in general are just not really designed to fit my feet or athletes' feet in general, I feel, because uh, I had a recent video where I talked about how the widest part of our foot is the front if we spread our toes. And then if you look at the shoes, the front is actually the narrowest part of the shoe. So these shoes are just fucking backwards, basically. But um, it's what I'm rocking with. So right now I'm debating whether to order or buy a new pair of 12s, throw another $100 down the drain, and then for shoes that probably are going to suck for other reasons. Um, so I don't know if this is useful at all or if it helps you think about what other guys are thinking about when they're picking basketball shoes. A couple other things to note is um, I like these shoes because a lot of shoes get really raised in the arch um, to force you to have an arch, but these shoes are a bit flatter on the inside, which I prefer because I feel that the best way to get an arch is to create a natural arch like this, right, rather than like this. And I don't want to be forced into that. I want to have flat space in the inside, potentially. Yeah, those those are mine. Hi, uh, thank you. No, he's just a chronic picker-upper. For sure. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. Yeah, so I, I personally have been hooping in toe socks as well, just so I get maximum toe control. But I'm really into that type of a thing, so that's kind of my situation. I've hooped in multiple socks before, and I definitely like that, but um, at this point I just want... I don't know, it's really tough. It's really, really, really tough to get a, a good basketball fit, and you can obsess over it for, for decades and not get a good one. Another thing to think about is this back heel counter, um, because there's going to be times where you're flexing down, what do we call this, dorsiflexion, this is plantar, plantar flexion, whatever. Point is, if you flex down, you can see this heel counter is cutting into the Achilles. So a couple things to keep in mind are, I prefer shoes that are concave out rather than concave in. See, this one's concave in. I prefer shoes that are concave out. Um, I'm going to get a, a secure fit from around the ankle anyways and from the arch. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I am worried about um, Achilles pain. However, the way that you adjust to these shoes is you just don't go through an unnecessary range of motion like this. So you have to know your shoes and control the way that you move as a result. So this is, these are my current thoughts today on my hoop shoe situation. If you have any, any thoughts, uh, you can share your situation in the comments and I'm interested, excited to hear see what's going on so much love thanks i hope this helps you out and peace